Just got this in, looking forward to using it. I have a bunch of negatives I wanna scan. I guess it's a 35 millimeter negative scanner. Okay. Bunch of paperwork. USB cable, USB 2 it looks like. Looks like the feed. I think you could do 10 negatives at a time. 10 strips of negatives, I should say. Power supply. There's a bunch of different adapters for different countries. There's nothing else on that side. Let me put this over here. Itself. There's nothing else in the box. So let's put the box to the side. Oh wow, it's a lot bigger than it. It looks in the box. Nice. Probably would put the tape to keep these parts from moving during shipment. I did purchase this item as an accessory. Supposed to run the uh, Negatives through it to clean them. This is everything that comes inside the box. That's all you get. All right, let's set it up and try scanning some negatives.
According to the instructions, I'm supposed to insert the CD and install the software. The software is called, uh, what did it say here? CyberView PF135 Installer. But it says if you don't have a drive, this time uh, there's no CD with the product. Go to www.scanace.com. That's S C A N A C E dot com. S D dot P H P. So that's it. Right there. So let's go to that and download the software. Let me start with a few negatives. Run them through the cleaner. Put them in. I believe it says up to 10. So that's three, four. Always wear gloves. Five. Ten. Okay, let's turn it on and see what happens. The on button's in the back. You can see right there. Okay. So, with the information that it's telling me, I've got to make sure that the shiny side is up. If you dealt with negatives, you know, I don't know if the film's going to show you, but this is the shiny side is over here. Shiny side, shiny side, dull side. Shiny side, up. So that's what I'm doing, putting the shiny side up. So again, I don't know if the uh, video camera is gonna capture that. I think it is. See how dull it is? I have it set for shiny side up. There's nothing in here. But there's 10 in there without those two. All right, let's try it again.
I'm scanning in Tith. Highest resolution, so it's going to take a little bit longer. But I've used a uh, flatbed scanner. It takes a lot longer on a flatbed scanner, that's for sure, because you got to put them in trays and, and line them up. And the same uh, shiny side up, shiny side down applies to those also. So I had to speed up the film because you would have been there for, um, you would have been watching forever. It took about, I'd say about a minute for four pictures on one strip. About a minute for four pictures. Okay. And it took, um, yeah, it took, I put about 10 in there, 10 strips. Um, It's still scanning. It's really slow on the highest setting. I did for quality, not for speed. So, so far so good. I'm gonna sit down and mess with it more. Um, but as you can see on the software, um, it's, uh, it's a slow process, but it's much easier than scanning it on a flatbed. So it looks um, promising. It looks like I'm gonna end up keeping it. All right, I hope this uh, video helps. Thank you. Um, you can put, according to what I read, you can put up to 10 negatives here, but it looks like it's only taking one at a time. When I put more than one, they tend to stick together because of the static. Even though I'm using this to remove uh, static and everything else, it still gets staticky and they still cling together and you end up scanning too negatives at the same time. I've scanned about 400, uh, 400 single negatives, four in each strip, and I found that happening a lot. So instead of placing them on top of each other, what I do is I feed one in, and when it gets to a certain level, I just feed the other one on top of it. And it's sort of, uh, let me just show, give you an example. So when it, gets to, when it gets to a certain level, I just put this one right on top. And the scanning takes a while since it is a negative. 
And I just place it on top and then the next one will go on, the next one will go on. Uh, depending on the resolution, if you do TIFF, can take a really, really long time. JPEGs a lot faster, maybe a minute or two per strip of four. Uh, I just wanted to mention that, that it, it just, I, I don't know what it is, the feeding just keeps making the negatives stick together. Um, I think it's more of the negatives fault and the static and all that other stuff compared to the actual device itself. 